This brief video will walk you through basically the components of the employee suite. We call it the employee suite. We also call it the faculty suite. One of the things that you need to understand about the faculty or employee suite is that it's the main hub for all of your information as an employee here at Lawson State and also it's the hub for all your course information. So we're going to go ahead and click on faculty and staff suite. Notice that I entered the faculty and staff suite through clicking on faculty and staff or you could also click on employee portal from the main website. Go ahead and follow the login directions. Plug in your social security number and your date of birth, unless you've changed, of course, the PIN number. And again, what I'm going to do is just familiarize you with the components within the faculty and or employee suite. First, I'm going to start with the employee information, which is the second button. If you click on the plus sign, you can see employee information. What you'll notice, you can view your pay stub information. At Lawson, we do not send you pay stubs. Okay, Everything is done electronically, so you can click here and it'll break down your pay information. Of course, you can view your leave balances in terms of what you have available in terms of leave. You can also, um, if you're an administrator and you actually have to approve leave, this is where you would go to approve leave. You can change your PIN number for access into the faculty or employee system. You can also um, look up your information in terms of what we have in terms of your address, and you can also modify information. If I go further down, online requisitions, we have videos, by the way, for all of these different components, such as, not your pay stubs, of course, but we do have a video on how to actually apply for leave a request leave. We also have a video on requisition process. This will only impact you if you are a um, if you are budget manager. That means you have access to a budget and you actually make purchase requisitions. You need to watch this video. And of course, miscellaneous information is also available. Now I'm going to go to the very first button. This is only for faculty. This is where your, all your course information is housed. This is very important because one of the things that we don't do, we, are, we try to be as paperless as possible. So no one's going to give you a copy of your course role sheets, for example. Your official course roles will be housed here. And you need to remember that because um, we have different stages of registration, that means that at the beginning of every term, we have some students who are registered in the actual course itself. That's called the registered role inquiry, which, is, which you'll see here. And we also have students in pre-registered mode, meaning that they're registered, but they haven't paid. And so that goes on for a couple of weeks before um, the deadline for payment has lapsed. So it's important at the beginning of any term that you print off both the registered role sheet and your pre-registered role sheet and call both roles so you know who, in fact, is in your classes. This is also where you would come to record midterm grades. Remember that midterm grades, the only grades that you're going to enter are those students who are failing. If a student has above a, seven, a 70 or above, you will not submit a midterm grade. This is also where you'll come to record final grades for students, so you can see why it's so important. Okay. I'm going to go to course attendance. At Lawson State, attendance is due every Friday by 11.59 p.m. This is very important. It's also very important that um, the attendance that you submit for students in your classes, it's accurate. Attendance verification, this is only done when we send out an email notification from the registrar asking for what we call a no-show report. So those are synonymous. Well, you'll hear it called no-show report or attendance verification. And this is when you're reporting for you're reporting on students who have never attended your class. And you put an NS for no show next to their name. But again, all those directions will be given to you. There are also within this training module, we also have 
different videos that walk you through how to do an attendance verification report, how to submit grades, so don't worry. This, the purpose of this training is just to simply acquaint you to all of the information that's housed within Faculty Suite. If you need additional information beyond the training tutorials, I mean tutorials within this um, lesson, please let us know through the Center for Teaching Excellence in Learning.